As I heard the commissioner speak, I reached into my pocket and I pulled out this photo. This photo is Robert Venable. He was one of my closest friends when I was a transit police officer. So Adams loves telling that story, but it turns out it might be a lie. The New York Times is reporting this. Eric Adams' team was instructed to create a photo. A picture of the officer was found on Google. It was printed and made to look worn as if the mayor had been carrying it for some time, including by splashing coffee on it. Joining us now is Lee Zeldin, former New York congressman, as well as former New York gubernatorial candidate. Lee, good to see you. Does this surprise you at all? Yeah, I, I don't think that the mayor needs to embellish this story at all. Uh, all reporting is that he did, in fact, serve with this fallen officer. The family members of this fallen officer have spoken out about their relationship with the mayor. So you don't have to go that next level. If the story that's being reported is true, you have the mayor telling a story that's inaccurate and then using his staff to help promote the lie. It's a little bit different than, you know, the mayor saying that he was a vegan and then news breaks, turns out he eats fish. <laughs> to be quite candid, I don't really care. But when you talk about a story like this, it gets people a little bit more emotional. If you live in New York City, you want strong leadership. Quite frankly, what has people most concerned right now in the city is when they see people pushed in front of oncoming subway cars. They, they see the quality yeah. of education being eroded for their kids in school, or they go to their local store to try to buy, say, laundry detergent or maybe toothpaste, and you see that it's all locked up, uh, and you see those, clo those stores closing down. Uh, so as far as leadership goes, I think that the mayor just, it's a big unforced error. You don't need to do it. You have the relationship with the guy. Just tell the truth. That's a great point. It's not the issue of the photo. It's indicative of embellishments or duplicity that's simply been a part of his mayoral uh, term. A lot of us had hope that he might take on New York City and bring it back to what it was. Give, us, give me your grade, your assessment of Eric Adams so far. He has to go further. And it's, it's awkward. It's uncomfortable. You have to take on your own party. Yeah, you, there are people who are going to go after you personally. I remember when Mayor Adams said that judges should have discretion to weigh dangerousness when setting cashless bail. And by the way, that's absolutely right. Rosie O'Donnell's brother, Danny O'Donnell, who's a white liberal Manhattan Democratic assemblyman, went after the mayor, said that Dangerousness is code for black, like suggesting that somehow Mayor Adams was racist for wanting judges to have discretion. You know, this has been happening time and again where people in his own party will go after him personally, but you can't stand down. Yeah. You have to double down and triple down what you know is right, and that's the only way to be able to save the city regarding the economy, regarding crime and safety, regarding freedom and the quality of education in schools. It might be awkward and uncomfortable, but you have to do it. Uh, and then the voters will back you as a result if you show that backbone, which he has not. Lee, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.